Hello everyone, welcome to the SharePoint Online tutorial, myself Roslyn and in this video we will learn about the SharePoint Online weather web pad. And these are the headings that we are going to cover in this video. First we will see what is SharePoint Online weather web pad and how we can add and edit the weather web pad in the modern SharePoint site page and how we can display the weather temperature inside the weather web pad. So what is SharePoint Online weather web pad? The weather web pad is used to display the current weather status for the selected location and also it is possible to add the multiple location and show the weather information inside the weather web part. The weather web part is available both the modern SharePoint team site as well as the communication site but it is not available in the SharePoint server 2019 version. When we add the SharePoint online weather web part into the modern SharePoint site page this is how it looks like. Now I will show you how we can add the weather web part in the modern SharePoint site page. Initially log into the Microsoft Office home and select the SharePoint application. Once the SharePoint application has been opened Select the site page for which you want to add the weather web part. In this example, I am going to choose the communication site page and click on the edit icon. Here I am deleting the previously added section. I am going to add new one column section over here and search for the weather option. Now select the weather option presented here. In the title area, give any title according to the weather web part. In this example, I have given the title as weather status. Now add the weather location here. Here you can simply select the location here. Now in the weather web part, you can see I have added multiple locations and also it displays the weather condition for all the selected locations. And by default, it displays the temperature in the Fahrenheit mode. If you want to Change it as in the Celsius mode. Click on the edit web part option. You can see the option here display temperature as. If you select Celsius here, then you can see the weather web part displays the temperature in the Celsius mode. And if you want to change the location name, select the location. Click on the edit details. Here you can see change location display name. Click on that and here you can ask the name that you want to change. Here you can see selected location display name has been changed. The maximum character that we can use here is 100 character and if you want to change the order we can easily select this icon and drag here you can see i have reordered the locations this is how to add the weather web part in our modern sharepoint site page if you want to edit the web part click on the edit web part option if you want to duplicate the web part click on the duplicate option if you want to delete the web part click on the delete web part option click on the republish icon so that the changes will be saved and reflected into our modern sharepoint site page here you can see the weather status web part has been added to our modern sharepoint site page so this is how we can add, edit and display the temperature for the selected location in the weather web part in modern SharePoint site page. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button and do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.